Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rissa, aka Rissa Explains It All. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not, hit the like button. And yeah, let's get started on today's video. So guys, I'm watching the road. I've seen some people concerned about my driving. <laughs> I'm watching the road. Um, my camera is right here by my windshield, so if I look over that way, I'm still able to see the road, if that makes sense. Anyways, today I'm about to go pick up a um, corner shop order right now. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sundays are my busy days, so I'm ready to get to it. But um, I just wanted to go over the Uber gas, corner shop gas, all of that, the stuff that um, came out last week. I'm a little bit late, but I just let it simmer in and settle in. Now I wanna give my full opinion. So that's what I'm gonna do at the beginning of this video. And also I'll be doing my weekly earnings breakdown. Let's get started. I have an issue. My issue is that when the Uber pay thing came out saying they're gonna give us 35 cents to 45 cents per ride to help with gas, I wasn't happy about it. Now, I think that we can all be grateful for getting assistance. Yes, that is a given, okay? Let me just pull up my GPS. I'm in my garage, guys. As I was saying, yes, we can all be grateful, right? We can all be grateful that we're getting assistance from Uber. Thank you, Uber, thank you right okay great now now that we're over being happy about uber giving us pennies um let's get into the real stuff i seen so many other content gig creators and this is no shade to them saying like boasting about how great this uber assistance was and i'm here to let you know it's not that great okay so i've been driving for uber uber eats in particular for seven years guys seven years so I've been through the ringer with this company. I just got to the grocery store, so I'm about to head in the shop, but I wanted to continue my conversation because um, I just wanted to be parked. The LA drivers are too psycho at this time and I can't concentrate. So um, basically, like we can all be grateful for Uber helping us out. Cool, great, awesome, like congratulations. It's so great that you're helping us. Um, but some of the things I was hearing really irritated me because we're sitting here praising this company, guys, for giving us 35 and 45 cents per trip. Are you kidding me? I just don't think the company needs to be praised. We can be grateful all day long, but praising someone for giving us 35 cents a ride, guys, have we lost it? And I'm not trying to be shady towards anybody. I understand people think this is great and that's awesome, but maybe I'm a little more um, passionate about this right now because my gas right now in, in LA is 570 to six bucks in my area and if I go to LA LA it's seven bucks eight bucks okay I'm not gonna sit here and act like this is the greatest thing uber's ever done for us because honestly it's a slap in the face and I don't understand how some people are sitting there acting like it's just you know the greatest thing that we've ever seen so yeah I wanted to bring that up at the beginning of this video because I've let it sink in let it simmer in thank you uber for the 35 cents but to me Personally, we should be getting a dollar per trip, a dollar per trip. Gas is way too high. And the reason I'm also saying this is because this company will sit here and throw you $2, $3 orders. Because when we start praising them for stuff like that, they think like, oh, this is okay. They're like, cool, we can get away with giving them bare minimum. So anyways, guys, as you can see, I'm very passionate about this topic of the gas. And um, I think that it's BS and if you don't think it's BS, that's your opinion, and I'm so happy that we all have our own opinions because we're not all going to be the same, you know? But I'm also not gonna sit here and listen to another person who's done gig work for less than two years. Like, if you've worked in the gig work for as long as me, seven years, you've been through the ringer. We've been through the ringer, guys, okay? So, yeah, that is my little rant about the gas promotion. And, um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna head in and do my grocery order and um, then when I get back from dropping the grocery order off, we'll go ahead and go over my weekly earnings. I'll let you guys know how much I made. This week is gonna be totally different when I do my earnings for next week because I only got six hours with GoPuff guys. <laughs> but um, I've been hustling on Uber and Corner Shop, so. I'm gonna do this order, but let me know down below if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me and I'm out of line. <laughs> um, either way, you guys, it's our own opinions, okay? All right, guys, I dropped that order off. I am now 
parked somewhere. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with Office Express. I did Office Express last week. Um, I made $71.94 and I did two orders. So um, not bad for Office Express. Again, if you are interested in Office Express, I have a few videos on Office Express and the locations and what you do. It's a catering service, so it's just a cool little add-on. So for shipped, I did five orders. I made $132.07 with shipped, so that was cool. I haven't done any shipped this week, though. Nothing has just popped up on my screen that I'm really interested in doing, so I haven't done any of it. Um, okay, moving on to Uber. Last week I did 385.36 with Uber Eats. I don't know if that's good to anybody else, but it's okay to me. Okay, I just claimed to order with shipped while I was at it. It was $8.33 for balloon delivery. Okay, next on the list, guys, is GoPuff. Boo. Tomato, tomato, tomato to GoPuff. Um, so with GoPuff, I made 661.22. And then last but not least would be Corner Shop, which I did 251.16. So I made a total with five different side hustles, 1,502.29 cents. I believe that is correct if I just did my math right. So obviously that's good money for one week. Next week's gonna be totally different because I only have six hours with GoPuff this week, so um nowhere near what i made last week but it's all good guys because i have other um streams of income i got a sponsor deal this week guys which is really exciting and i'll post that if you guys don't follow my budget page i post all of my like um budgeting tips as well as like earnings savings all of that stuff so you guys will see it over there in april um what else so just you know there's i have other streams of income and things like that so i can't complain um like i said though before i probably am going part time with this because I did get an opportunity um, with really good pay so you know I'm still gonna post these videos weekly but I'm not gonna be doing it full time so you'll just probably see my part time um, earnings and then also I plan to start doing lives every Monday is what you guys decided so I'm gonna do that once I hit 7k guys and we will do um, weekly lives. I want to do it with other women gig workers because I always see the men doing it and you know they'll trickle in some women here and there but I'm really about woman empowerment. I don't see any lives with just women who gig work. I think it's very important to show ladies who do it as well just because I think there are there are some misconceptions about gig work and safety and women and all this so I just want to go over gig work and I I also will have men on there as well but um if you have anybody in mind who you'd like to see me do lives with leave it down below and let me know but yeah guys that pretty much wraps up this video um sorry if I offended you with my rant in the beginning but it's just the hard truth so thank you so much for watching I love you all so much. I hope you have a positive weekend, a safe weekend, a happy weekend, a money-making weekend, all the weekend things that you can think of that are positive. And I will catch you guys next Monday on my next video. Bye.